Hello everyone and welcome to another vlog. Today I want to talk about a very important question that I receive every time I go out with friends or during a workshop and that question is what lens should I get? And usually this question comes because people have lots of lens and they also want to know what lens they should have with them in order to capture the landscape better or to suit them better or basically not to carry too much uh, too much equipment. First of all, it's very important to know what lens to use the most because this is what defines your style. The focal length that you're using and the, the settings that you are using most. These are very important things that once you know them, you kind of know what lens you should get. So right now we're gonna jump into Lightroom. I'll show you how you can use this software to know exactly what lens you use the most, what focal length you use the most, and then what this means for your photography. So right now I'm in Lightroom and I'm assuming that all your photos are imported in the same catalog. This is very important if you want to know this kind of things. So all you need to do is, here are for example all my uh, folders with all my photos starting from uh, 2015. These are not uh, all my photos but from 2015 up until now there are a lot of photos so uh, there are 61,000 photos and um, for a wedding photographer maybe it's not that much but for a landscape photographer it's pretty much so all you need to do is click here on all photographs and now you are analyzing all your photographs and what I'm gonna do is click here in the library module I will click on metadata and I'm gonna filter the images and you're gonna see different dates and this is the uh, the kind of information uh, that I don't need the camera again this is something that I don't need uh, but the lens and uh, from uh, from label I will uh, I will choose I will remove this column but I will add another one right now at column and this column will be here I have lens and from here I will choose focal length so I want to also know the focal length that I want to that I use and add another column just for the sake of it let's also see the aperture so let's start with the lens here you see all the lens that I use that I've used and there are a couple lens. Um, I have a 24 to 105 millimeter here with 3000 photos. Uh, I also have other lens, but if we uh, are to look at these photos, 13,000 photos with a 17 to 40 millimeter lens. This is one of my main lens. Basically, I have three lens with me whenever I'm going to photograph landscapes. The 17 to 40 millimeter, the 24 to 105, and um, the 70 to 200 millimeter. So I have 13,000 photos with the 17 to 40 millimeter. With the 24 to 105, I have 20,000 photos. Okay. 4,000 with a 50 millimeter, uh, the 70 to 200, only 10,000 photos. So at this point, it's very clear uh, that I also have this Sigma 24 to, oh no, this one, 24 to 105. This may be the Sigma. I also have this, this one. There are about 23,000 photos uh, that are shot with the with the 24 to 105 millimeter lens from 61,000 and this is a very big thing and the next lens is the 17 to 40 millimeter lens now let's take a look at focal length 6,000 photos with a 17 millimeter 5,000 with a 24 3,000 with a 35 2,000 with the 40 5,000 with the 50 millimeter, 3,000 with the 105, 2,000 with the 200 millimeters. What this chart is telling me, even though the 24 to 105 may be the most used lens, the most used focal lengths are the 17 uh, millimeter with 6,000 and 600 photos, and then comes the 24 millimeter with 5,571 photos. And this basically means that 
usually my photos will be taken with this lens the 17 to 40 millimeter also if you take a look here I have a 50 millimeter 3000 photos so also the end of this of this lens and the 200 millimeters let's just see 200 millimeters 2000 photos and now if we take a look at the most used aperture uh, f8 19,000 photos f11 10,000 photos so now i know that the most used lens is the 24 to 105 millimeter but the most used focal length are 17 millimeter 24 millimeter 50 millimeter and 200 millimeters and in some way this means that i should not carry with me uh, the 17 to 40 plus the 24 to 105 plus the 70 to 200 maybe would be more uh, useful for me to have the 70 to 40 the 50 millimeter uh, fixed lens and the 70 to 200 millimeter and this means less weight uh, of course that the 24 to 105 gives me more freedom this is the only dilemma that I'm having right now. The 24 to 105 gives me a lot of freedom, but it's, I think, very important to, to, to take a look and, and take this small test with your photos because you'll be surprised to, to, to find different things. Maybe you find out that 80% of your photos are shot at 35 millimeter lens, and then you start to question why am I carrying all these lenses with me? So let me know in the comments below what are your most used lens and what is the most used focal length uh, in your landscape photos and we can share and talk about different things but don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel <laughs> this is very important if you want to see future videos and until next time keep on photographing because it's the only way to get better bye bye